Okay, I'm filming this video on my phone. Just, just a friend told me it looked better than my laptop, so comment below if you think it does. But anyway, it's been a month, month since I've done a video. I figured, you know what? It's time to go back and get back onto this. And uh, I want to review an album that I really like. I want to review 1998's. Holocausto de la Morte by Necrophagia. One of the pioneers of death metal. This is the tape, black tape. This one is limited to 100, by the way. This version. And this album was dedicated to the godfather of gore himself. If you wanna get me. Yeah, it says right there. I'm not sure I get on camera, but yeah. And the inside, you got pictures there. You got Killjoy, Fatville and Samo, Maniac over the, in there. Because Maniac from Mayhem does make an appearance on this thing. Um, shit. Now I'm dropping shit. Um. But anyway. This album was released in 1998. And it's their second studio album. I'm going to adjust the camera a little bit. That should look better now. Uh, and the lineup for this particular record was, I actually want to take it out just to make sure I know, of course, Killjoy, rest in peace on vocals, uh, Anton Crowley, Bill and Samo on guitar, Wayne, Far Wayne Fa Fabra on the drums, and Dustin Haven on the bass. In this album, of course, yeah. Just from the artwork, I mean, you could see on the gr there's a reflection there, but if you don't know, it's us saying, you know, Fulci Lucio Fulci on the grave. This album has a lot of tributes to classic Fulci films, which I fucking love. Uh, you got right there that chick right there where my finger is. City of the Living Dead, you got the Housewever from the Beyond. I mean, classic stuff there, which is awesome. Also, now let's get into the music on this album. We open up with the really awesome track, Blood Freak. Very creepy track. Opens up with some awesome atmosphere with some sound interludes from Fulci films. And you got some awesome riffs from Phil and Samo and of course Killjoy's vocals are as they're very much I would say they're definitely different on here than the first record but still definitely unique they're not your typical death metal growls which I like you know a little different but still has an evil sound to it which I like next we got Embalmed Yet I Breathe, another one. Fantastic track, I mean. Not a single bad song on this record, but uh, yeah, I really like this one a lot. But definitely, then we got probably one of the, my favorite, my favorite off here probably. The Cross Burns Black, very creepy song. Fantastic musicianship to this one as well. Then we got Deep Inside, I Plant the Devil's Seed. Awesome track, once again. <laughs> then we got uh, Burning Moon Sickness, which is has a music video, too. Really cool, gory video, too. Awesome track. We got Carvinus Screams of My Deceased Lover. Amazing track. Then we got Children of the Vortex. Awesome song. Then we close it with Hymns of Divine Suicide. Um... Uh, yeah, I mean, not a single bad track on here. There are eight tracks on here, but man, every track is memorable, distinct. This album is never boring. You never want to try, never want to skip anything on here. The atmosphere is incredible on this thing. The production has that awesome, you know, this definitely has very, I would say a raw sound to it, which is good. Um... Not, um, this album does have some really just 
probably their best album. I mean, all their other albums are really good, but this I think is their peak. Um, yeah, I don't have this on vinyl or CD, so here you go. Like I said, the tape version. This album, I want to give this a 10 out of 10. This is a masterpiece of death metal. If you haven't heard this, do yourself a favor, give it a listen. It's badass from start to finish. And yeah, you guys enjoy. Like, comment, subscribe. Keep it brutal. I haven't said that in a while. And yeah.